Today, we're going to learn a little bit about listening to the wood, reading the grain, and finding the spoon inside the wood. Take this piece of wood, for instance. What does this line mean? Well, what I've done is strike a line that follows the peaks of the cathedrals in this particular piece of wood. And when I look to the end grain, you can see that the center of the scoop or curve of the end grain falls right in to this line that tracks the peaks of each cathedral. And it's rather straightforward and represented pretty equally on each side. So this lets us know as we turn it over that what we see on the surface on the other side is going on straight through the piece of wood. This is a relatively uncomplex piece of wood, but that center spoon has a knot right in the middle of the bowl. And I'm following different grains where I've made patterns for other spoon blanks, including the small spoon in the area left over. What I want to do is follow the grain and find the interesting spoon inside the wood. This piece, on the other hand, is rough cut, and it's pretty hard to even see the grain, but on the end grain we can see the curve. Not on this side where it's painted. We'd do well to cut that off so that we could see more. And if we look closely, we can follow the peaks on the cathedrals on this side, even through the rough cut, and on the other side as well. And again, it's consistent, one side through the other. So there probably won't be a lot of surprises hidden inside this piece of wood. That's not always the case. This leftover piece of wood that remains from another project has consistent end grain, a nice curve, and I believe I can find room for a very good spoon inside. So I've drawn this pattern, and I follow the grain back to a sweeping, curving handle. I call my form of carving spoons grain carved spoons, because I follow the grain on the profile as well as the top and bottom, and try to find the most interesting spoon hidden inside each piece of wood. This scrap of wood presents us with more complex grain and perhaps even a more interesting spoon. You can follow the cathedrals there, but you can also see on this side cut where things aren't going on consistently through the wood, and that's due to the knots. And look at that, a nice circular pattern on the end. If we could get the handle into that, that would be nice, but right there, that knot has a split through it. I don't think it would work well for the handle. I think that split would cause us a lot of problems. So instead, I've chosen to go to the side of it on this piece of wood. When we cut into it later on, we'll see if that was a good decision or a bad decision. You can't always tell from what's going on on the surface what you'll find inside any particular piece of wood. Nature always has surprises for us. This video is about making the best educated guess. Is that the knot on the side and the top, or are they two separate knots? The only way to know for sure is to get into the piece of wood. Now here's another piece of wood that seems very straightforward. Look at this cathedral pattern. It's curved, but the end grain shows consistent grain in the curves on both ends, and the other side reflects a mirror image of what we looked at on this side. So I've drawn a spoon blank that I'm pretty confident will yield exactly what we see on the surface. My guess is, and the reason I put the bull right there is, I think we will get nice circular ascending patterns of grain. But there is a wild card with this piece of wood and that's the knot that's in the bull. I think it'll play out right under the surface, but we'll have to cut into it to see. And that's the profile I'll cut away so that I can carve the bowl. Okay, 
Now we can see inside and look, the knot is gone. We have very consistent grain. And I think we will get that wonderful circular pattern inside the bowl. And I think we're safe all the way through. So I believe this will make us a very nice spoon and I'm hopeful that we won't have any hidden surprises. And here is another piece of wood that is a good example of getting exactly what we thought we would get. On the side here the grain is very consistent, but before we cut it we didn't know that. On the surface, top and bottom, it seemed very consistent, and when we looked at the end grain we had consistent curves. But when we cut into the profile, what did we find? Well, the indication that we got from the side and the end grain was right. Very consistent grain, no real surprises. We're going to have a very interesting pattern of grain down the handle, linear, as well as what's going on inside the bowl of the spoon. And I think that'll carve out to reveal ascending grain patterns, giving us a very beautiful spoon. Now here's another piece of wood that we looked at earlier, and we made our best educated guess as what to do. I decided to put the bull right here and follow the flow of the grain. Now, you might think I should have gone right here, as that's the way the grain flows, but that knot has a split in it. It would have given us a really interesting handle on the end, because look at that circular grain. But there's a split there also. And my concern was that these items all in the same area were a deal breaker as far as the handle's concerned. And I was right. The split continues. Once I cut off this profile of the wood, we can see that. But the grain here, where I've chosen to put the handle, is still very interesting and flows right into the bowl. And inside the bowl, we're going to have pretty consistent grain that once we carve into it, will give us a very interesting pattern. So I think on this particular piece of wood, we did make a good decision. On the other hand, there's this one. And as pieces of wood go, this one can be called a problem child. There's a knot right there, and a split. And there's a knot right on the rim of the bowl of the spoon. I think that one might play out right under the surface. I'm not so sure about the knot in the middle. And look at all these converging patterns of grain. This could present us a big problem right here at the knot. And could it all be associated with the knot in the middle? I don't see a split continuing through here, but I'm worried that the split in the bowl will actually get larger as we carve into it instead of smaller. But look how it'll flow through the handle. And then look, on this end, we can connect with this circular grain pattern. There's a slight split in it, but I'm hopeful that it won't continue far down the handle, and it will give us very interesting grain if that's the case. So we've cut into our problem child, and we had these couple issues that we were worried about. The knot with the split, how far will it go, and the knot on the rim. Will it play out or continue? So we've cut along our profile, and what's it reveal? Well, the knot that was on the rim is gone. It moved into the bowl. We'll carve that away. But there's another knot again right on the rim and this center knot with the split the split does continue and it gets larger it's even going into the area where we'll have the handle we'll have to see we have a thick piece of wood we can carve a lot out we might be able to carve our way through it the handle end though is going to be interesting the split doesn't seem to be a big problem here we might be able to carve most of it away and it'll get us a beautiful pattern of grain right on the handle. Now I've taken the time to carve into the bowl, so let's see what we got. Remember, we were worried about little knot on the rim and the knot in the split in the center. The knot on the rim moved inside, and when we carved down, it was virtually gone, but more knots have shown up. And remember, another little knot came up on the rim, and that one has not gone away. Look at it and it's got a chip in it. Now we have a pretty thick piece of wood, so as we look at the profile, we might be able to reshape this spoon and get rid of that. But so far, in the carving of this bull, the real difficulty came in the fact that there are so many different converging patterns of grain, each in a different direction that we have to work with and can't fight against. It was a real challenge. 
And did we ever have any indication that all this would be going on in this piece of wood? We looked at it from all sides, didn't we? Well, let's revisit that. Remember this view? Now look, in hindsight, we can see it all clearly now where all these patterns of grain converge. Almost anything could be going on in there, and it turns out that's exactly what we found. Let's consider this a lesson learned. But also consider this, how beautiful this bull is going to be. It seems that the most difficult patterns of grain offer us the most interesting look. Every time I carve a spoon, I learn something, and I hope you have too. Please consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.